channel from uh, GP3 plugin. So um, today I'm going to show you how you can use the prompt base and GPT forms and the difference uh, between them. So the um, prompt base is actually um, uh, here you can design your um, prompts and then you can embed them on your website. So we already have like um, more than 100 templates you can use you can use them if you want like for example this one is called business strategy advisor so here we have the prompt and so basically you can write your prompt and then um, yeah, for the uh, so you can write the problem and you can get the solution ideas right so for example <clears throat> this one is going to give a result like this and you can also embed this on your website like just copy that one and then add new <clears throat> so let's say this is test and I, I put it here and publish <clears throat> so um, when you publish it it means this will be um, available uh, on your website like this so you can your your users your uh, visitors they can they can use it like they have to put like getting new customers right so this is let's say the problem or i want to get solution ideas for this one and then hit generate and then um you get the result right and um if if they are registered users they can save it uh, but if they are not uh, they have to register to save it as dropped okay also we have um uh, one second uh, let me show you the option here um gpt power um, <clears throat> okay so we have also this um where is that oh, okay i'm going to show you uh that one when i designed the prompt so um this is basically how it works um you can also uh edit this post and then you can change uh settings to yes if you change this to yes it means uh, the parameter settings will be available for users so um, your users they can play with um, they can play with this uh, parameters and then they can change token and other stuff and they can see the sample response and then they can generate um, um, response for for this particular example okay so this is the um this is this is prompt base <clears throat> in prompt base uh, basically we are giving um users a full um uh, ability to change or modify uh their prompts right so this is prompt base and we also have um oh, let me let me show you how you can design one prompt here like for example i will call it domain um, name generator and let's say um, generates domain names for a giving business and um, so this i'm going to write my prompt here so um suggest me um, suggest me um, three different domain name for an ice cream uh, business okay so um so this is my my prompt right and um the sample response most probably i will get some um results um so for example um ice cream.com i'm just making it up like um cool ice cream.com um extremely cool extremely cool ice cream okay so this is sample response so you so your, your users can see what kind of response they are going to receive and then you can select a um, category from here let's say i want to use generation and then engine and other stuff these are all you can leave them empty <clears throat> if you are not sure then we are going to use the um, default values but for this one so i don't require too much token right so for this one i think 100 token will be enough and um so 
you can display the result in text editor or just on the page you can select this one and this is for the um, icon color so let's select uh, this one and then I'm going to save it so as you can see it says your prompt created now you can use this one and embed it on your website if you scroll down to the end of the page yeah, you will see that it's there and then you can edit or delete that one so this is the one that we create right and then you can click and then run it so this is the um, uh, let's see how it works <clears throat> yep so this is the result so um so i want to embed this on my page right so i get this one and then um let's change this one edit post and i will put this one here so as you can see if it is um, created by user, uh, it will have this custom uh, yes option. So you can just copy and paste that one. And um, <clears throat> once it is um, created, you can go to view post and you can see you already have designed your prompt, right? So this is the domain name generator and the description. And uh, your users can select how many answers they want to get and then um, they can generate so this is the first answer so i select three so it's supposed to give me um yeah uh, one more and one more and once uh so you can also stop that one and um so let me show you the okay i will show you this uh this one let's select this okay dave so i won't save it so i will show you the difference so you can <clears throat> refresh this one and then you see the text editor is gone now when you generate it's going to generate directly on the page like this right so you can clear and then generate again um, um yeah so this is the this is the uh this is prompt base okay this is how you design your prompts and then you can also use this uh, ready ready prompts so we also have gpt form so um what are what are the difference the difference is actually let me show you i already have two um, um template here this one and this one and as you can see i don't have the prompt so this if uh, let's say i want to um embed this one here let's see <clears throat> So the difference is that um, users, they don't need to think about the prompt. They just need to enter the values, right? So um, it's um, maybe it's much more easier. Um, so this is the GPT form, right? So you design the form. So headline type. So this is Google AdWords headline generator and it generates headlines for Google AdWords. So you can create this like uh, I create this one and you can like headline type. I want a catchy headline and my business name is um, coffee shop. Maybe I don't, I'm not sure. Let's see. Um, and then generate. And then um, <clears throat> so once I hit that, I got the result. So your user, they just need to enter the, the values, right? That's it. And let me show you how you can design. So um, you can design it from here. Uh, let's say um i want to design one of the um yeah let's say this business strategy advisor or um let's design yeah um where is that uh yeah let's design this one okay so this is the business strategy advisor right so i'm going to design my form this is my title and um this is the um this is the description and this is my prompt here and so the difference is here um, we have this fields option here right so you can add fields so we have like text area um, select or radio option and number email and URL so and um, here this is my prompt right I'm designing the prompt so the only input that I need I need from user is this one they I, I want them to enter their problem and then to give them results so so here I'm going to create uh, a new field it's called problem you can give any name uh, here let's say problem field and I want it to be text and you can specify the minimum or maximum length so this is I'm going to leave empty and then once you have it you need to put it here so and this is the format <clears throat> So um, here, uh, this so this this name should be matching with this one, right? And inside this one, so um, this means 
this prompt requires one input from user right and you can add more if you want like for example i want to add one more um like um, select option if you want to have select you can add more but for this particular uh, example i'm just going to use this one okay and um so everything i'm going to leave same <clears throat> so the color is this one and i will choose this one and then save <clears throat> so as you can see it's already here and then i get the um when i click on it i can get the um the, the shortcut so now i'm going to go to um, my page and this one and i want to edit i will just put that new um <clears throat> form that i just created right so update <clears throat> and i go to post so here you, you i have it so your users now they don't need to write the prompt right they they don't modify the prompt they just write their problem like my problem is uh, like getting new customers let's say and then they just hit generate and then they get the result that's it so um it's really useful if you just want to design your form you can use this one and also you can design your prompts here and then embed them on your websites um yeah just um if, if you don't uh, if you want to delete you can also delete them right like this so um you can give it a try and then let me know um if you have any feedback you can always uh, share with me uh we have this um contact us icon here so um you can you can contact me from here okay if you have any future requests or any question you can always um, contact me and then i will try to um, reply as soon as possible okay thank you